Good afternoon on this beautiful, still windy Wednesday. If you wonder why in my videos, <laughs> I'm always looking over there, it's because that is the my window. I'm on the first floor uh, in New York City and I can actually look out the window through the bars on the window and see trees and grass and they're still very, um, still really flying around uh, because of the aftermath of the hurricane. So, welcome, welcome. Uh, I just wanted to do a quickie today. I've started doing these sweet little um, honoring our goddess kinds of things. Um, not, not, I, I, I'm not, it's not in me to do my, my long ones at this point, so I'm just following my heart. And so this series, um, which I'll do Tuesday, Wednesday afternoons, something like that, uh, will be, um, it, it, I'm calling it, uh, tapping into your divinely feminine wisdom and calling on your inner goddess team. And each week, um, or about each week, I will come up with um, a different goddess for us to focus on. And I thought I was going to do, kind of in the aftermath of, um, of Lamas, uh, and, which I, I, I talked about uh, on Saturday, and it just being this um, you know, full, lush summer time of year, um, I thought that that's what I would, I'd be doing Demeter or Ceres, which are the, the Greek and Roman earth goddesses. But given where I've been the last couple days, um, it was very sweet to see with, with just kind of letting go and seeing who came through that one of, my, one of my favorites, one of my very first goddesses that I connected with when I first started getting into this work, um, gosh, 20 years ago, something like that, uh, more than that now, uh, and that's Bridget, the Celtic goddess Bridget, and why she feels particularly apropos right now. For me personally, um, Bridget was a triple goddess. She became, when the Catholic Church kind of wiped out any sort of goddess pagan ties, she became um, the, a triple, she became Saint Bridget in the Catholic Church, and she represents uh, strength, healing, inspiration. She was the goddess of smithcraft, which we don't do, we don't have a lot of blacksmiths around now, but it's that kind of creativity that really um, brings them, you know, br really brings her to the forefront. Uh, inspiration, she was the goddess of poetry um, and healing, and that's the big one. So I, I wrote in my newsletter this time that, that went out on Monday that, that I've been really affected by well, many, many layers of everything we've been going through the last couple months. And specifically, I think um, there's that undercurrent of just kind of existential pain for everyone that's suffering in the world. Um, and I was feeling that yesterday. I had, I had uh, one of these days that, that my sister-in-law has called um, COVID gloom. And, and then in my newsletter, I talked about how it's sometimes the little things that, that get to you right now. Um, opening my, the little suitcase that I have forever thrown all of the stuff that I schlepped to my, my new moon circles in, um, and to use that a couple weekends ago, and, and looking at that and saying, oh my gosh, I haven't done that. I haven't done that live. I haven't used these things in five months, something like that. Um, and just tears started. So, and uh, just a bunch of things, and, and I'm sure you've experienced it too, where you see something and, and it kind of jolts you, it's like, oh, I didn't even realize that, that I hadn't done that. And it kind of just sucks you in the gut. So that's what I was kind of responding to, and I think that's why, that's why Bridget decided that she needed to come through. Um, hi Janice, hi Chris, can't see who else is here. <laughs> Um, so Bridget, she is, she, and one of the things, one of the many things I love about her too is she's, she represents all of our faces at all ages. She's what was called a triple goddess in the, the Celtic uh, religion. Um, she's maiden mother and crone. So at any stage of, of life, whether you're at the wisdom crone stage or the mothering creative stage or the maiden um, inspirational stage, um, she has something for all of you. I actually have this great, she's one of the first, first statues. She was one of the first rituals I ever went through. These are her, her three faces. 
um, this wonderful candle holder that I have that I'm sharing with you. Um, and she was, she's was also the said to put healing threads together and a lot of um, in ancient times a lot of the healing was thought to be weaving the threads of the universe together there were they're really all over the world there are all these different weaving goddesses and she was thought to have woven the first piece um, of cloth ever in Ireland that was one of her contributions and so think about all of the things mind body spirit all the ways that you need to be healed right now how we want to create a healing web of our of our own where are we feeling kind of imbalances and disorders this is what she really how she operates in her healing of mind body of the environment oh, goodness knows <laughs> goddess knows how our environment is just so um, yearning for us to heal it right now always so I'm looking at some of my little notes here um, so the idea with her is that she weaves together the cosmos kind of like the web of life and she does that um, not just a, a metaphor but how not, not just a metaphor but really look at it as energetically weaving together everything that that is important to us so with with that context i would um just kind of take that in think about where are the imbalances that you're experiencing in your life that you're experiencing in your life right now what does that look like and let's let's just close our eyes for a minute and whew, breathe into your body breathe into your heart your mind your soul wherever it's feeling particularly out of balance today. Doing a chakra meditation is, is a perfect one. A chakra healing meditation is a great one for, for honoring Bridget. So think about that. How can you really focus on your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, the home of your intuition, your solar plexus area, your third chakra and really maybe pick one that you feel is particularly out of balance and let's just take a moment very very simple to just breathe together into that space it could be into several it could be into several chakras that feel out of balance or disordered you can put your hand on a few of them maybe on your heart on your throat on your third eye, you feel like you're not in touch with your intuition. But take a moment and invoke, however you imagine her, invoke the energy of Bridget with her healing, with her inspiration. <laughs> she is a fire goddess. I can feel the sun sparkling in through my window. If you open your eyes, you'll see it too. <laughs> And think about your creative spark that needs to be brought back to life. Where are you feeling out of balance? Where do you need healing? Take a moment now to call on Bridget. Ask her to weave a beautiful, soft healing web to lay on your heart to lay on your throat or your third eye or your third chakra down by your belly button and just feel feel that healing web just resting on that place or places that you most need it in your body in your mind in your spirit Feel yourself relax into that healing place. Feel yourself relax into Bridget, into her lap. Feel her warmth. Feel your own body settling in, releasing. Feel stress. 
impatience, anxiety, melt away with this healing cloth that's been dipped in the healing fire of Bridget. Sit with that for a moment. Let's take three breaths together, feeling that wherever it needs most to be placed and exhaling, inhaling again, and exhaling, and inhaling a third time together, exhaling, opening our eyes, feeling yourself back fully present. <laughs> the sun is definitely doing its sparkling thing in my office, coming in through my western facing window. Allow yourself to take that energy in too. The sun, the fire of Bridget lives in us always. And you can listen to this if you need help tapping into it. Or just remember that when you need that kind of special healing, that she is there for you. Namaste to all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And stay tuned next week. We'll see what goddess shows up then. Thanks for being with me.